What's up y'all? Welcome back to another one. It's just me today. Ain't nobody out here. Today's episode is going to be about just throwing a single bait. That is good old high tech easy shiner. But it's about like 50 degrees man. It's kind of a little chilly. I got some shorts on. Got my breakfast right here. I got some grits this morning. Sausage, egg, and cheese. Yeah man, y'all check it out real quick. That's how you eat grits right there. Y'all check it out. So that's my breakfast for this morning. I'm gonna eat this real quick and then start fishing. But I decided to try out these uh these Kitex Easy Shiners, two inch bait. They smell like fish. It's crazy. I opened this thing up and smelled. I was like, damn, this thing smells like a damn minnow. I think it's a Japanese bait. So I decided I just want to try this out um, solely, just using this. See what we catch. And I'm gonna go ahead and rate it at the end. So throw on the GoPro. I just got one pole. Go ahead, catch you guys out on the water and let's see if we can get some fish with this bait. Man, it's a little chilly this morning, huh? I got one bite earlier, lost it. Felt like a good one, but after that, it's been, it's been quiet. Just been casting here. See what we can get. Just gotta keep trying. Slow roll. Maybe when this, uh, maybe when it start to warm up, bite will start to pick up. Might have to switch color. I think that might be a good spot right there. Let it sink. Got him. That was a soft bite. Oh, that's a oh, that's a crappie. Yes, first crappie of the day. Not the biggest, but it'll eat. First fish on th with the Kitek. Barely, look at that, barely hooked. Barely hooked. Actually, I hooked him on the outside. Barely hooked. I'm throw him in there. Maybe that was a good, that was gonna be a good spot, but man, I barely felt that bite. They are not attacking it this morning. Let's see if I can get another one. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a bad. Oh, he got off. Oh, he got off. That was a bass. That was a bass. He got off. This Kitek. It's not bad. This might be some tough fishing today, y'all. It's gonna be some tough. It's gonna be some tough fishing. It's almost like a it's almost like a jerk bait type day. Got him. Ooh, come on, what is it? What is it? Ooh, it's a bit crappy. It's a bit crappy. Oh, it's a bit crappy. Oh, it's a bit crappy. Oh, 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 Kai Tech. Oh, he ate it. He freaking ate it. Look at that. Freaking crappy right there. Freaking crappy right there, yo. Oh, my goodness. That's a crappy right there. With the Kai Tech, he freaking choked it. Oh my goodness. Did I have to work for that fish? All right, y'all. Uh, switch of spots. This wind kicked up. So it's made it a little bit cooler. So I actually, I actually had to put on my fleece. So just how, how, how cool it is today. Nobody out fishing. I'm the only one again at this spot. Me and these geese, these Canadian geese. Go ahead, put my my bucket down. I don't know if you guys can see, but I got a couple in there. I got a couple in there already. Some good ones. Well, let's see if we can get some more. Water is clear at this location. Let's see. 
and they are biting. Got him. Crappie. 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 I figured it out. Figured them out. I've been doing a pattern. Pattern lately. Spawned out. Bloop. Right there. Not bad. Not bad right man. That's a good start. So what I figured out is when I'm reeling it Rolling it in, I'm reeling it too fast for them because it's like I'm reeling in the bait, the swim bait, right above the rocks. And what I need to do is let that swim bait sink a little and kind of hit those rocks in between those rocks to where they'll come out and attack it. If I reel too fast and just let it swim right above the rocks, they won't hit it. So I gotta be like really slow. So try it again, because that's how I caught them over at the first spot. Just kind of like let it hit the. See, just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. This one's kind of small, though. This one's small. We'll let him go. Because that's where you're staged up at. So, but this pearl purple. Pearl. Oh, my goodness. See, another one had it in the fall. It's pro purple. Got him. This is a good one. Got it good. Got it good. Got him good. I'll eat that. I'll eat him. I'm the one flaying it. I'll flay it. Just can't use the electric knife. Got to use a regular fillet knife for the smaller ones. So what I'm doing, I'll just like jig it on the bottom and just slowly reel it in. Sometimes I'll stop reeling and just jig it a couple times. And you just, just feel that nice thump like that. Whatever, I might come back and get it. Oh, so you had something. But that's pretty much the idea. You wanna be able to stop sometimes and then jig it and let that, let, let that bait fall. It's all about technique. Got him. If you're doing the wrong thing, you won't catch him. Just like that, y'all. Just like that. This one's kind of small. We'll let him go. Oh, right, yeah, I broke off. I tied a crappy loop knot here. But got a 116th out jig head. Jig head. Gonna use the pro purple again since they were hitting like crazy. Gotta use what they want, All right? Like so, like that. Missing them. Missing them. Good cast. Let it sink. Dig it a little bit. Slow. That's real slow. Got him. See, he had it in his mouth. He had it in his mouth. He just like sucked it in, and I felt the tension. I sucked it in. I felt the tension. Oh, he's got. He's got that bottom lip. Got that herpes. He's got that herpes. Chill out now. I'm gonna let you go. You too small for me. But bunch of dinks. Let him go. All right, y'all. Broke off again. So I'm gonna put on June Bug this time. Let's see how well this one does. This is the last color I'm gonna use, and then I'm call it a day because the Kai attacks are 
know, they, they're, they're good in my book, so. Pretty much, you know, got some solid crappie today. Successful morning. But I'm just gonna fish just, I'm gonna try this before I go. Let's see how well Junebug does, so. Just give it a try. Hopefully I don't get caught up and break off. Got him. June bug. On the June bug. This is crappie. This is a crappie, I think. Oh, this is a bass. Oh, the bass. June bug. June bug. June bug. This is probably that same bass that I caught earlier that got off. Ooh, got him good. Look at that. Top lip. And he took it. He could not resist. June bug. Kitek. Right there. Little baby bass. Let's let him go. June bug. It's the bass catcher right there. Got him, got him. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? What is this? It's just swimming. What is this? Oh, got a crappie. Oh, got him, got him on the back. He's <laughs> freaking snagged him. Freaking snagged him on his back. Look at that. Freaking meat hooked him. Like I'm using them as bait. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He must have like when how the heck did that happen? Well, I got a crappie. They're here still. Alright, guys, it is pretty much the end for today's video. Did really good. Caught about yeah, caught about around close to 10. As far as like keepers, the ones that I'm keeping. Uh it was a great bait. Kai Tech, easy shiner, two inch. That guy right there is a very good crappie bait uh hooked on i would say about three bass total three four bass total only managed to land one but the, re the rest got away but that's you know that's based on me choosing a crappy jig head um but other than that pretty much use like all all of the colors that i that i have on me i think i only got like one or two hookups um bites with the bluegill flash, I thought this one was going to be the one that that was going to uh, catch him. The electric shad. I don't think you know. I, I don't think I use the electric shad, so I'm not going to say anything about that one. But silver flash minnow caught a couple on that one. Um, but other than that, it it, it was kind of like the same as the bluegill flash. It was you know it was natural color. I thought it would have got more bites, especially with the water, you know, the water clarity being clear, fairly clear. The key colors of the Easy Shiner was uh, these two, Pro Purple and June Bug. These got the most bites and it's great bait. They're just really, um, they feel great. Like, like the hook, like if I had a better jig head, I would be, I would, I would probably would have caught a lot more. Um, but I would say the only downside is that um, after a couple bites, they do they do start to um, break down easily. And then you have to grab another one, and then you only have like 12 of these. I forget how much they cost, but I think I got them off Tackle Warehouse. Um, but other than that, these two were the colors: June Bug and Pro Purple. Um, I would rate Pro Purple ahead of June Bug, but June Bug was was getting bites as well. Um, I would rate these as a 7.5. Right, that's pretty good. I would use it again, but I, you know I only rated a 7.5 because of just how easily 
you know they break down and you gotta you know pretty much put on another one use another one but other than that that's it for today's video all right hope you guys enjoyed it and uh catch you guys on the next one peace